Hey everyone, this is Razor Scum here, and welcome back to my playthrough of Maniac Mansion version 2 for DOS. So, in between the time that I made the last video, I've actually done a bit of research on this game and tried some solutions out. So, I've, hopefully things should be a lot better this time around than what they were before. And I've also worked on to f fix up the microphone a bit, so, yeah, if you had any sound issues, um, <coughs> I, I sincerely apologize for that. So, yeah. So, we're at approximately the halfway point of the game, and um, I found, like, I found some, you know, um, shortcuts to get to the ending. So, let's take Razor out to the pool. So what we'll have to do is that um, we have to, like we, what we have, what we have to do is, in order to finish the game, we have to gather a code from one of the arcade machines because Doctor Fred likes to play on the arcade machines, and what will what will happen is that the score for one of his arcade for one of his games will be used as the code to the secret lab. Now, there's a few things about this. Um, to be able to get to the secret lab, we will need to get the glowing key, right? The other thing as well is while we're at the pool, the pool, is, like the plumbing for the pool is actually hooked up to the nuclear reactor, so we need to we, we actually need to grab the glass jar and use the glass jar with, with the water. Now the reason for that is that one, to be able to get to the... Um, in order for us to be able to see the score for the arcade game, we'll need to be able to... Um, we will need to get a quarter, and to get the quarter, we have to go into Nurse Edna's um, bedroom and open up a safe. But in order for us to be able to see that safe, we have to go up into the living room and climb Chuck the plant, right? And then we have to rotate the um, high-powered telescope over so that we can see the combination number for Nurse Edna's safe. Once we have that information, we'll be able to finish the game. So, what I'll, go, what I'll do is I'll leave Razor out in the pool. Now I'm going to take Bernard and he is going to go up to the Hunkomatic machine, do some exercises, and then I'll take him down to the basement now, in order to get to the basement, you actually need to use the Hunkomatic machine. So that's why it wasn't working on me before. So, once we get up here, so we get Bernard to do these exercises. So now he feels a lot stronger, and we'll take him down to the <coughs> front of the house where we'll, we'll open up the basement. Now, down in the basement is a water valve where we can drain the pool, and that will give us the ability to to grab the glowing key, and it will also give us the extra batteries that we'll, we will need to use when fixing up the power supply so that 
we can use the telescope and say that Dr. Fred can play with the arcade machines. So let's go turn the water valve on and it will briefly cause a um, nuclear meltdown of some kind. And so what we okay so now we've got a cut scene here where he is um, concerned like he is worried about the nuclear meltdown happening and he will send an order to purple tentacle to go and suss out what's happening with the reactor now normally if you have um, someone who's sitting right next to the reactor they will get caught by purple tentacle and be taken into the dungeon but because we don't have anyone in the nuclear reactor room that won't happen So here's the cutscene showing that um, Dr. Fred likes to play his arcade machines. Um, now what we have here is a radio with the batteries and we also have the glowing key here. Now that we've got those items Ah, now we've got the cutscene of Purple Tentacle checking the nuclear reactor and he says that no one's there and then he turns the lights off and goes back upstairs inexplicably because the um, media room is actually in the dungeon so hmm, puzzling now we go back to Bernard and we turn off the water valve and that will cause the water to refill All right. So what we'll do is we'll go in as Razor to the main entrance of the house. And we'll switch back to Bernard leave this basement, we do not need it anymore. And the main things that Bernard's going to need are the flashlight. Actually, hold on a second, we need to grab the batteries. So we open the radio now we use the batteries in the flashlight and we give the flashlight to Bernard and we give We give the jar of water, hold on, give the jar of water to Bernard, and we also give the can of Pepsi to Bernard. Now what we're going to do with Bernard is that we're going to take him up to the third level and what what is going to happen is he will well first of, first things first we will go down as we'll actually have to go ah oh, this is my mistake so Right, so what we need to do is that we need to get Razor down into the nuclear reactor room and while Bernard is on the third floor we will need to shut off the power supply so that he can fix the broken wiring in the house and that's why we've given him the flashlight so he can see things. So we're just going to push the gargoyle as Bernard and then get Razor down there
Let me go find the light switch. And at this point we have the fuse box which we open. We're not going to um, turn the circuit breakers off just yet. So we'll go up to the third floor. two things just to get them out of the way. Now we're going to feed the jar of water to chuck the plant. Now of note is that the jar of water is actually radioactive which will cause him to mutate. So So you see that he's growing to super, to super sized proportions, but he is still nipping quite viciously. So we need to sedate him using a can of Pepsi. And then he starts to relax. Now we're up in this attic here, and we've got the broken wiring. Now what we'll do is we'll turn the flashlight on. Then we'll switch back to the razor and turn the flashlight off. Sorry, turn the circuit breakers off. <laughs> My bad. And then we fix the wires with tools. Now to avoid getting captured, what we'll do is, hold on, actually hold on, we still need to fix these up. So the wires are fixed now, so what we'll do is we'll switch over to Razor and turn on the circuit breakers and that should cause everything to settle. Now, while we, we are here, what we should also do is fix the radio tube. So that's done. Now, at the end of the game, what we'll do is that we'll call the media police, but we can't do that yet. There's some more things that we've got to do. So we'll take Bernard down to the library room where we'll be making some calls to Edna as a distraction for Razor to come in and do her thing. So I'll switch over to Razor and take her up to the third floor. So we'll put her outside Edna's, Edna's room for now, and we'll give Edna a call. 
three, four, four, four. We'll wait for the phone to dial. climb up this stair, like this ladder here. Now we have this painting of Dr. Fred and what we have to do is uh, we have to open it and underneath the safe is a tiny, tiny number which can't be read and that's where the um, telescope comes into play. So now we go and give Edna another call. So she is distracted. And now we head up to the telescope. Now we've got three dimes, which we took from Weird Ed. And we'll push it three times. And then we have the combination number 3621. And that leaves us with the last two calls that we need to make to Edna. So we switch back to Bernard, use the phone. 344. Four. switch back to Razor and go into Edna's room and we climb up the ladder we get three six two one and we get an envelope now the envelope has two purposes. One is that it actually has a quarter, and the other purpose is, is that if you decide to pursue the competition route in this game, that is, you take one of the three options, uh, photography, mu music, or writing, and submit one of, like submit a creative work to, it, to the contest in the game, and that like your creative work will be stored inside the envelope right but you know in order for you to do that because the envelope is sealed what you'll have to do is that you'll have to take it into the microwave and microwave it with a jar of water to open up the envelope without damaging the seal right but because we're not going to do that what we'll do is that we'll just open the uh, the envelope and we get the quarter in it. 
Now we go and make another call. This is our last call to Edna. Three, four, four, four. And we go and escape. And at any time now, we should get some clips of Dr. Fred playing the arcade, and we'll be able to take his high score from the arcade machines. We're just waiting for the cutscene to be triggered. Now in order to ready ourselves for this, we'll give the quarter to Bernard and We'll get Bernard to push this guard coil. Okay. We'll switch over to Razor and go down into the nuclear reactor room. And we'll get Dave to push the door open. Now we can unlock the padlocks with the glowing key. Open door, use, so now we have to go up to the second floor. just check that the arcade machines why is this flashlight on we'll turn it off
So DFE8640. We'll see if we can use the code for that. 8640. Okay, so now that's opened. So we don't have to worry about the cutscene there. So, cuts. So, so every time a cutscene happens where Dr. Fred is playing an arcade game, his score will change, and that will mean that the secret code will change with it. Now, it looks like um, that code um, 8640 was there by default. Now, all we're left to do is call the media police. Right, so we get the wanted poster. Uh, for terrible acts of violence, one murderous purple slimy meteor. Uh, if found, call 1138. Now we go turn the radio on. And then we use the radio. 1138. Now there will be a waiting period on this because what we will be doing is that we will be um, waiting for the media police to arrive and that takes about five minutes. So but what I'll do is that I'll actually cut to the arrival of the police. Um, something. There's been a power outage which is supposed to last about five minutes. One, one, three. So what's hap so what has happened is that Fred has temporarily turned the power off as per the last cutscene that we saw with him and that has actually caused an issue with the media with the media police because they because they have been unable to get to the prison door and that's something that that remains completely oblivious to us if we are in the dungeon where there isn't any electricity. So what we need to do is we need to actually wait for this power to come back on and that is supposed to approximately take about five minutes. So we go. Let's get Dave to push the loose brick. Now we'll switch back to Razor and go. Yep. Push. See if we can turn on the circuit breakers. Ah.
Now we're talking. So let's just try calling the media police again. Turn this flashlight off. Yep, so the police are on their way. Okay, so that's the si first sign that the police are there. Then in a few seconds from now, the policeman will teleport in. Here he is. So we'll get this cutscene. His badge is just right in the center of the screen now. And now we can see him. Don't bug me, sucker face. Going straight past purple tentacle. And then he goes in to shut down the media. <laughs> oh no, you found me. You're coming with me, greater hurt. Alright, so we pick up the badge. Well, purple tentacle will try to stop us. And yeah, we'll scare the crap out of him. Make him think that we're part of the police. And yeah, so. So now. What we do is that we just barge right in and we use the card. Like, what, what, what will happen is that Dr. Fred will try to initiate a nuclear meltdown and we will need to use the card key to to um, open up the door to the media room and shut down the media's powers. So let's go use card key. and turn the switch off. And there we go, he is free. I am free of this machine's control, but wait! The self-destruct sequence was initiated. I'll try to turn it off. I did it. And now I have this cutscene. I'm sorry my mad insane plan caused you so much trouble. How could I ever repay you for your help? Cash would be nice. Don't be a tuna head. <laughs> and that is Maniac Mansion, one of my favorite point and click adventure games. Um, you know, let me know what you think of this. Um, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube, like my Facebook page, etc, etc. Um, stay tuned for Friday this week, where I'll be doing a full playthrough of the sequel to this game, Day of the Tentacle. Right. Thanks for watching.